Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. It is the middle part of summer and right now one of the best techniques you can be using regardless of where you live is a drop shot. If you happen to be down south, maybe you're fishing deep ledges, maybe you're fishing brush piles, drop shot's a great choice for that. If you live up north where I am, maybe you're chasing Great Lakes smallmouths or fishing deep weed lines for largemouth, drop shot's a great bait for that. And because of the fact that a lot of people are using them right now, I'm getting a lot of questions regarding drop shots. One of the most frequent questions I'm getting is what hook do I like to use? And honestly, I don't have a single hook that I like to use. I have three types of hooks that I like to use, and it really comes down to the area that I'm fishing. So I wanna walk you through the three hooks that I like to use, why and when I like to use them, and the types of baits that I like to use with them. Uh, I really do believe that your hook choice makes a world of difference when it comes to your drop shot fishing. So we're going to get kind of in depth just on the hooks themselves. Uh, before I do get into that though, I want to remind you, I do have a members only channel within my YouTube page. So if you're looking for additional content from me and you want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. We have additional monthly videos. We have a monthly live stream for members. You can have direct access to me for your questions. Check that out. You can go to my YouTube homepage. There's a join button. You can click on that if you want to find out more. Also, if you just want to support the channel in another fashion and you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscriber button. It's a great way to show your support for the channel. So hopefully it's tips like this that make you want to keep coming back. So I get a lot of questions regarding the hooks. And I think most people out there feel like there's, you know, a primary hook. I mean, we've got a specific hook named after the drop shot technique, and that's just the drop shot hook. Uh, it's just a small little hook like this guy right here. It just kind of hooks back and it's ideal for most drop shot baits. So if you like throwing a Berkley Maxent flatworm, maybe you like throwing a uh, little minnow style baits, any of your little straight tailed drop shot baits are gonna be ideal for this hook. You know, this really comes down to uh, when you're nose hooking a bait, you're gonna get the most action out of it. You know, you get your bait to, to swing freely. And a lot of the time you're talking about baits that are only gonna be a couple inches long, right? So if you were to put a bigger hook on this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna take away a lot of the action of your bait. One of the keys with the drop shot is to move your bait generally less than you would think. So a lot of times you just gotta hold your rod there and what you're doing is you're letting the, the motion of the water almost just take the worm and just move it around and that's what generates a lot of your strikes. If you overwork it, meaning you sit there shaking it, a lot of times that, that's too much movement and it actually works as a detriment. So this is by far one of my favorite style of hooks because a lot of times I am throwing very small baits. Now I wanna point something out here. I would argue that you will get significantly more bites by dropping down in your hook size. I never go bigger than a size two drop shot hook. Generally speaking, it's a size four or a size two. Those are the two sizes that I love to use. And a lot of that just has to do with the fact that it's hiding that drop shot worm. You know, it's hiding within it. If you have too big of a hook, it sticks out. It just looks unnatural to me. So if you're throwing Anything bigger than a size two would say just a basic flatworm. I think you might want to reevaluate that. The next style hook is one that I've talked about on the channel as well. It's this guy right here. This is the Robo Worm Gamakatsu Light Wire Pack. This specifically I use for any time I'm fishing around grass or wood. So if I'm fishing brush piles or weed lines and I want my bait to be weedless, I'm gonna take a straight tail worm. You can, it's got a good bait keeper on it, as you can see, and that's gonna keep your worm up. So what you've done is you create a Texas rig with your drop shot. So it's a real light Texas rig when the fish eats it, you get that laser sharp hook, it, it drives into the fish's mouth and you're good to go. The key here is you, I'm using this anytime I wanna fish a weedless presentation. So your deep weed lines, as well as your brush piles. I'm gonna generally be fishing a straight tail worm that's four to six inches long like this robo worm right here. That's the second. The third one now that I really like is uh, 
the Nasheen drop shot hook, which again, I've talked about on the channel as well. The key here is you tie a snell knot on the shank. And what that does is it keeps your hook in an out, out, uh, upright presentation. So you can see in this case, that hook is sticking straight out. Now, I really like to use this when I'm throwing a bait that's a little bit bulkier, but I do not need to have a weedless presentation. Uh, because of the fact that I'm not gonna nose hook with this, I'm actually gonna thread the bait on. So in this case, I've got one rigged up and I'll thread the bait up the hook, but because I've snell rigged it, I can't necessarily slide it up and then rig it uh, like Texas rig it to fish it. So if I'm fishing in an area where I want it to be weedless, I go with the robo worm. If I'm fishing in an area where maybe I've got a bulkier worm, maybe I'm fishing uh, for fish that aren't as finicky, where they want a really small bait and I'm going with a little larger bait, I like to thread it up the hook because it, it brings the hook down the bait. And if the fish are, uh, if you've got a bigger worm and the fish are grabbing the back end and you're nose hooking, you're gonna miss a lot more fish. If you thread your bait on, not only do you have a better chance at hooking them, you also will use a lot less baits, which is really nice when you're fishing a drop shot. Because if you are nose hooking, you know, if you use Berkeley flatworms, you know a lot of times you catch one fish per bait, which I'm not complaining about that, but the reality is if you thread it on, you will make those baits last a lot longer. But those are the three styles. It really comes down to cover that I'm fishing. Uh, as well as bait that I'm fishing. If I'm throwing a really finesse tile bait, I go with a standard drop shot hook. If I'm fishing in and around cover, I go with the robo worm hook because I can rig a Texas style. And if I'm fishing around areas where it's not weedless, but I'm throwing maybe a little bit bigger bait, maybe I'm fishing for a little bit bigger fish or more aggressive fish, uh, and I want to prolong the life of my baits, I really like that Nasheen drop shot hook. So those are the three I use. I keep it pretty simple. I don't go... Uh, mixing and matching that much and generally speaking guys use the smallest hook that you can get away with you will get more bites and because 90% of the time you're fishing this on really uh, light finesse tack tackle in my case I use the MHX NSJ 871 rod so it's a 7.3 medium light fast action rod six pound test eight pound test to a 10 pound braid mean uh, leader line I'm not putting a, a ton of pressure on these fish. So your small little hooks will work just fine. That's what I use. Hopefully this answers the pile of questions I got regarding hook choices. Let me know in the comments section. Let the other viewers know as well. Do you like these hooks? Do you not like these hooks? Do you have other hooks that you really like to use uh, that I didn't mention? Share that with the viewers so that they know from you guys that the hooks work as well. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, we'll have a new tip video coming out tomorrow.